Social media went ablaze on Monday, August 29, after a young man, Michael Apia Champong, went viral on social media after posting a video on Facebook complaining about the diluted fuel he purchased at a Shell fuel station near the Adome Bridge at Atimpuku in the eastern region. The video received national attention, leading to the National Petroleum Authority's decision to shut down the filling station for investigations to begin. However, in an interview with City News, Michael Champon described the situation as a scary one. He alleged that management of the station knew about the selling of water-laced petroleum products to unsuspecting customers, hence his conclusion to file a suit against Shell. I just started shaking and then the engine went off and so um, we had to sort of guide it to a stop. Um, which was fortunate for us because at the time that it happened, because we were in town, we weren't speeding. And so you start thinking, wow, what if you had been speeding and the engine had gone off and you can't really control the car, what happens next? We were speeding. What would have happened to us? And then thought, uh, my family, my kids, I'm thinking everybody like that. That is how fleeting life was in just over somebody's negligence and yeah it could have cost our lives yes when i got there the the manager was aware that um the fuel was diluted because it had been told to him and i asked him um on um, whether he had checked the the fuel he said no i was like so get a clear bottle um, fetch it let's all see and so i videoed him fetching it and we all saw the distinct separation between the two i am definitely taking them on he further advised the management of Shell Group of Companies to be stand on quality control and called for the punishment of workers who were negligent of their duties. These things keep happening. When I posted on Facebook, I had all these people sending me messages. I even got some others who were affected from that at Timpoku station on that same day and didn't even know it was a full problem till they saw the video and realized, wait a minute, that was why we had the problem that we had. So... I, I don't think it's a one-off situation, it's not an isolated situation, but I do sincerely feel that they need, um, they need to feel it this time around, they need to be made an example of, they need, um, on, the, on the principle of it and also to safeguard the, the masses, people, people need to be taken more seriously. This, this wasn't good at all and especially from a, uh, from a brand like, like Shell, it's a global um, um, brand. They don't have the luxury of being this negligent. However, Shell Group in a statement explained that there was heavy rainfall on the said date of the incident, causing water to sip in the area of operation at the station. The company added that it halted operation after it discovered the water contamination and it is providing assistance to affected customers. The head of quality control at the National Petroleum Authority, Saeed Kutia, however, explained that apart from the shutdown of the station, measures have been put in place to prevent a reoccurrence of the situation. For operational and safety and quality purposes, you need to check whether there is product, uh, water inside the product. Let me establish that there are various ways that water can get into an underground storage tank. One of them is what happened. If you have storm or rain water coming in, or it could be through condensation where you have moisture in the atmosphere, or maybe one of your pipe could not hold and is able to collect rain water. So that is why operationally you are supposed to check every morning and that if there is water, free water, you pump it out. Meanwhile, the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers Ghana, COPEC, is calling on the various regulatory authorities in the petroleum sector to ensure oil marketing companies, OMCs, carry out mandated routine maintenance of their facilities. This, the Chamber believes, will help prevent a compromise in the quality of products sold by the OMCs in the country.
This has only served to remind us that there are still those issues in and around us that need some comprehensive addressing and we will be calling on the NPA not to just go in there and shut but ensure that that particular outlet and several other outlets in and across the country do get the comprehensive audit assessment done to ensure that both what is underground and uh, the pumps that are actually dispensing the fuel are all up to the standards that the Ghana Standards Authority already prescribes. It is indeed a wake-up call and we expect a lot more to be done than just shutting that station and that should be it.